Hi, welcome back to another lesson. Today we're going to code our first C Sharp program, simple hello world, shouldn't take too long. Let's get into it. The first thing you'll do is start up Visual Studio. And when you do, you'll get a startup screen like this. And so it's asking you what to do, whether you want to open something that already exists, you want to create a new project and you're going to get a sort of complicated screen. Now for our first project, what we're going to do is just make a console based program. In other words, no GUI, no fancy buttons or widgets or whatever, just text, just like we were used to in Python. So the way we do that is we want to go up to these search boxes here, select C sharp, select all platforms and select console. And two options should come up and select console app.net framework. Just click next to that. It's going to ask you for a project name. We might call it hello world. I'd recommend that you actually follow along and create these projects as we go along as well, not just watch me do them. Okay, and eventually we get a screen. After a short delay, we get a screen. Looks similar to uh, this, I imagine, depending on what your settings are, but it should look similar. Uh, important for us to note is this um, window here at the moment. This is where we're doing our coding. Over here, we've got a solution explorer, which we'll be using a fair bit. So make sure you can see that. If you can't, you might need to go into something like view uh, solution explorer. We won't need it for this project, but make sure it is there in the future. And really an error list or an output, something like that down the bottom. But we've got this confusing thing over here and you can see quite a few lines of code already put in for us. Uh, so these are libraries that our program needs to run. They're pre-coded, you don't need to worry about them. We will be adding extra lines in future programs. For the time being, we just leave them there. Then we've got this line called namespace and it's just saying that our program's called name, uh, hello world. We've got this thing called class. Now we need to learn about classes and you guys all uh, understand what classes are after we do a few more lessons. But for the time being, just accept that we need this line and that we need this line. This line um, is a sort of default method or function um, that we need. So everything that we type in will belong for the time being inside of this method. This method gets run by default first. We can call other methods from here, but this one will run first. So all we're going to do is put hello world on the screen and then pause the screen and then just let the program finish. We did the same thing in Python. And just like in Python, if you only put a write or a print in Python um, and then run it, it will just, the, the black box will flash up, the console will flash up and then disappear and that's because it will run and then finish. So we need to do the same as in Python. We need to write hello world to the, the, the console and then we need to do a read line. Um, we need to uh, read some input back from the keyboard to make the program pause. So our, um, you'll see that it quite aggressively tries to auto type for you. So what we are after is console write line And we're just going to put hello world in here. Um, so be aware that C sharp is um, case sensitive. So right line must be spelt like that. And we terminate our lines with a semicolon. Now, unlike Python, these tabs are not syntactically relevant. In other words, the computer ignores them. They're purely for readability. In Python, we used tabs to denote blocks. In C sharp, we denote blocks with these squiggly brackets. So you'll have to get used to these squiggly brackets. Now, the other thing C sharp does is it terminates every line by a semicolon. So we could write this or we could equally write this and the computer would know to just delete all the spare spaces and put this on the end here and that this, this would constitute one command. So that's our um, sending a message to the console and to get information back from the console, we do read line. And you can see that um, it auto 
uh, tries to guess what you're typing. Um, I would recommend taking its advice. Try practicing using your arrow keys. So um, we'll try that again, actually. So if I type in console.re, and you can see read line comes up here. You can see um, that it's recommending or suggesting this. So I now press tab, and I can see that I don't want to put anything there, so I'll press tab again, and that's it. And that's my program. So that's our program finished. So we've got our two blocks here, and it's all good. So um, you need to go and find your start, and this should compile the program, so convert it into the whole thing into a file that can be executed by your CPU, and then it will run it. So let's have a look and see what happens. Okay, so we get a black box, very similar to how Python looked. Um, we have our hello world, just as we would expect. And now it's freezing at this read line. So if we go into the black box and we press enter, the this line executes, and then it comes down to here and it sees the program's finished. And so the whole thing closes up. So that is hello world in C sharp. I hope to see you in the next lesson.